All right. So in continuation with sub types of the cancer and in our playlist regarding cancer, now we are going to discuss another very important type of cancer present in the females that is endometrial or uterine cancer which generally affect the endometrium layer as we know that uterus is having endometrium layer myometrium layer and perimetrium layer so the lining that lines or is shed off during the menstrual bleeding is endometrium in the most this lining is further made up of that is we can say epithelial cells or there are present endometrium uh, tissue in it which is made up of uh, we can say epithelial cell and other cells like uh, we can say glandular tissue and behind this endometrium layer muscles of the myometrium layer are present so excessive mitosis of uh, cells in the endometrium layer can lead to endometrial cancer or uterine cancer so it is commonly present in the age group or is no first of all it is known as also known as womb cancer womb or womb cancer it is commonly present after the age of 55 years especially after the menopause and is generally present in the old age group right clear and now when we talk about the metastasis metastasis of this cancer endometrial cancer can obvious generally affect the pelvic organs in the female the ovaries are present alongside it fallopian tubes this cancer can show metastasis to the ov uh, fallopian tubes ovaries pelvic organs and lungs uh, even bones by a blood the metastasis can occur and when we talk about the our risk factors so first of all risk factor is nulli para the women who are never pregnant in their life are at very high risk of this kind of cancer nulli parity is also the term used nulli parity use of estrogen hormone therapy estrogen hormone therapy can also be responsible estrogen hormone therapy all right then tamoxifen this drug is used as we know in breast cancer in breast cancer treatment this can cause uterine cancer also metabolic syndrome is also associated with cardiac disorders and is marked by high bp high blood glucose level sugar then presence of triglycerides in the blood metabolic syndrome then late menopause is also a risk factor and uterine sarcoma uterine sarcoma generally involve the glands of the uterus especially endometrium layer obesity can be also be associated with the uterine cancer or endometrial cancer clear and now we are going to discuss about types of the uh, that is uh, our that is cancer which affect the endometrium layer uh, this layer endometrium layer will show tumor growth here tumor growth then is the malarian type malarian it is not malaria this is malarian tumor which affect the uh, this layer glands glands and last when we talk about leomyoma leomyosarcoma leomyosarcoma it affect the muscles of the uterine walls or the myometrium layer of the uterus all right now we had understood about the risk factors now we come to the sign and symptoms vaginal bleeding can be there unusual vaginal bleeding discharge with the foul smell can be there discharge with the foul smell can be there then there can be pelvic pain uh, abdominal pain back pain can be there especially in the case of obesity because the patient is already bulky even in the patient with uh, we can say there is, that is pcod pcod not written here okay pcod some terms come in your mind while teaching pcod 
so this these kind of women with ha will have low back pain abdominal pain and uh, there will be a large uterus size uh, due to distension so uh, the diagnosis include pap smear test why the pap smear test is being done just to check the presence of the uterine cells presence of the cancer cells in the cervix area to rule out the cervical cancer dilatation and curettage which is also known as in the hospital setting d and c dilatation and curettage is done by inserting the uterine sound over here and taking a small piece or cut section for the biopsy purposes dilatation and curettage then ultrasonography can is also useful when we talk about the uh, treatment of the uh, we can say endometrial cancer or uterine cancer radiation therapy is also useful radiation therapy uh, in which the beam is focused on the that is the uh, cancer cells and chemotherapy chemotherapy is also useful radiation therapy include brachytherapy and teletherapy both chemotherapy generally covers drugs such as cisplatin cisplatin carboplatin cisplatin carboplatin vincristin etc vincristin so all our cancer series or playlist is focusing on all the subtypes of cancers which are being commonly discussed in the oncology part of the NCLEX RN exam, government job exam, BSc nursing, medical surgical nursing, GNM nursing, etc. So we had covered all the parts of the cancer subparts and then even after the medication the patient is not showing good response then hysterectomy can be done hysterectomy can be done salpho can be done salpho-angitis or salpho uh, we can say removal of lopin tubes oophorectomy is the removal of ovaries complete hysterectomy can be done so there are so many parts associated obvious when we talk about nursing management in our lecture so the complete focus will be on pre-operative health education post-operative health education and intra-operative health education can also be provided also the uh, psychological problems related to sexuality related to long-term sexual life sexual orientation hormonal imbalance diet therapy and other follow-up care can be discussed with the patient so this was all about the uterine cancer thank you for watching this video keep subscribing keep sharing and don't forget to press the like button